Good uh, morning, guys. Welcome to today. I'm here with Ellie. Ellie, say hi. You say hi. Hair up? I didn't put her hair up. See how messy her hair is? Wait. Wait. This is what we're working on. Wait. We're working on wait. Wait. Good girl. Wait until she gets quiet and then I let her go. Another thing we're working on is her climbing up. Sophie put a, a blanket there. Why'd you put a blanket there? Because she always sits on it. Why? She always sits on it. So this is where we usually keep the dog food so that she can't get into it. But she actually does climb up. We've had to move the dog food completely. Ellie came from a really good breeder. Every time I sit down to vlog, literally every dog we own comes. Except for Gabby. Gabby's is loyal only to her. Um... Anyways, Ellie came from a really great breeder, and on her little vaccination record, it said that she was dewormed three times uh, every two weeks, which is what we would do if we had puppies. And I feel like she's fine. I feel like she's not, she doesn't have worms, especially like she doesn't have a wormy belly, but she's hungry all the time. I think it's just her. I think it's her breed. I don't know. She's hungry all the freaking time. I'm so careful with what I feed her because... Um, she definitely has the potential to overeat. I told you guys all this before. Sit down. Sit down. Sit. Sit. I think she's scared of Trixie. The issue is, is that we free feed our dogs and we need them to have access to their food 24-7. Every time we take Daisy to the vet, because, because <laughs> she just licked her. Every time we take Daisy to the vet for her, her vaccination appointments, um, our vet always says what great body condition she's in. And the reason she says that is because Dalmatians can tend to be really neurotic and really like, um, and really skinny or kind of a scrawny can, or can be kind of scrawny. I scared her. And so our vet is always so impressed with uh, Daisy's body um, condition and I want to keep it that way, but we've not found a way to keep Ellie out of their food. So last night, Ellie got again, second time, and she got into the food. <laughs> she's not as scared of anything, but she's scared of a, a bearded dragon. She scares you? <laughs> Anyways, it's the second time. She overate and literally, let me see, come here, let me see if we can show them your belly. Her belly's gone down a lot, but it's not good for potty training for her to overeat like that. Her belly went down a lot, but it's not good for, it's not helping with potty training, her overeating like that, like she did. So I'm posing the question to you guys. Do you think that I should free feed Ellie and let her control her own weight? Because there are some merit in that. We found with our dogs that none of them overeat because they always know that food is there. Or do you think I should continue to measure her food and divide it three times a day so that she doesn't go hungry but that we control her weight? What do you think is better? She's stealing food. <laughs> it's a nightmare. And she's also... Afraid of bearded dragons. She's not scared of anything. Yeah, she's not scared of anything Except for bearded dragons when her and Daisy Wrestle if Daisy goes too far like Daisy steps on her Daisy does something to hurt her All of a sudden we hear screaming and it's not like squealing like a puppy would do if somebody hurt them It's like anger. She's like so mad and she just chases chases Daisy around. Yesterday, last night, we heard her screaming and everybody's like, oh my gosh, what happened? And literally, she chased Daisy around this circle in the, from the living room to the dining room to the kitchen and back like 10 times and we were all just like, holy moly, she is a force, in, force to be reckoned with. Yet, she's afraid of a simple little bearded dragon. Even I'm not afraid of a bearded dragon. That came off of her spikes. Yeah, she just went through a shed. Yeah. <laughs> She went to get Daisy. Daisy, Daisy, come help me. <laughs> Daisy yawns. Eh, that's nothing. <laughs> it's so funny. The bearded dragon, all she does is she'll lick something, and that's how she tells, like, that's how she, that's her big sense that she uses. Here, I'm going to put her on the ground. <laughs> She's just going to go running towards Ellie. <laughs> Get ready to grab her back. Come here, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's okay. She's our friend. <laughs> I never see her cower. She's never. She's always the boss. She's not scared of anything else. So the other thing I wanted to talk to you guys about is what do you guys do while you're growing her hair? I want that little 
curl in the front of her head. I'm waiting for it to grow long enough that I can put it in a ponytail. And I need her ponytail to be long enough so that it doesn't feel too tight on her head so she's comfortable. What do you do in the meantime while you're waiting for that to grow? <laughs> Why is she so scared of her? It's okay. She's never seen a bearded dragon before. Nope, she's never seen a bearded dragon for sure. I also made two more chew toys since we videoed yesterday. Well, <laughs> the horses are far today. Come on, Gino. Come on. Come on. Come on. And they're running. Actually, Chino's running better than Penny. Penny's like, this is torture. Too much snow. Come on, Gino. <laughs> they're like, yeah. He's like, oh, I'm so tired. <laughs> oh, the snow is hard. It is awful weather, you guys. Like it's, oh, here he comes. <laughs> Look at him run. Hi, handsome. Come here, Pen. Come on, Penny. Penny's not impressed. Penny is not impressed with the snow. Look at how much he matches. Anyway, I had a long talk with our trainer today about Chino before the vet comes tomorrow to check him and we have high hopes for this boy for this year. We're gonna see. I think we got everything under control. Okay. Look at the water trough. Oh, that's so great. Yeah. Hmm. Why do we have a cat? Oh, the cat is so fat. Yeah, but birds can carry like diseases and stuff. Yeah, the bird is so fat. I think there were five doves. Now there are three. Hold on, I'll try and catch them. I mean, I don't condone the killing of any birds through cats. See, with, a, with those ground cats, that would even leave nothing on the ground. But it's tricky. Like, you don't want them to bring, I don't want those to bring, like, bird flu to our, to our chickens. Two babies. Two babies. So, when our horses get a little bit chubby, the first thing I do is make sure that they have like that space right there. Well, you can't see it with all the hair, but make sure that they have that space there above their eye. And I checked to see Do I line drive her? if they have any crest, any thick, tight area up here, because that often can mean that they're overweight and dangerously overweight. And so far all of our horses have been good. But anytime I see anything the least bit worrisome, I always like, scale back a little. What I don't understand is why these birds are not afraid of me. Like honestly, they just walk right around us while we're in the arena. No matter what we do, they just are like, mm, I'm here, this is our home. Well, there is a bright light on a dreary day. Hi, big guy. Hi. Hi. Gabby the cat whisperer. No, he hates me. He hates you, why? Because he grew up with me. Oh, he's like, I want some love. Look at how furry he is. You guys see it? I got to pet him once. And he puffs himself up. See, he's puffing up his fur so he looks bigger. I know, I love watching this. I love when she like lowers her head and looks all fancy. <laughs> Although it's winter, it is, well, it is spring and it is mud season and she's not looking super fancy. Give us a couple months when all the hair is. We're hoping that Sophie's new trainer is going to help us with Willow and get her pulling, get her uh, driving. It's something super excited that, exciting that we really want to do. And if she does, then we're going to buy a cart this summer and Willow's going to learn to drive. Shitty car, but we hit the road. Doesn't matter where we go and destination unknown. I don't care where the motor stops. Cause when I want it, then I want it. Yeah, I want it. Oh, I want it. Let's go. Look around. Where's the people at? I want a taste of the good life. Hit me with it right now. In it. You guys know our vet is coming tomorrow. Tomorrow is the day and we're gonna do like a huge uh, workup on Chino like we've done every Every before the summer since we've had him make sure that he's good before we get out there in show season we're gonna do more blood work and 
we're going to just check him over, make sure everything's good, get the vet okay for him to go back into work and be good. Because last summer, he spent a lot of time off with abscess issues because some stuff that happened with his food. I want him to address that. I want him to check it. Like, trying to open the door, then he just ended up closing it and times. Oh, really? Yeah. So Gabby's going to ride him around a little bit inside the arena and just kind of get him moving a little bit. And then... We're ready to get back into business. The only problem is there's a lot of snow. We were going to ride the horse. We were going to take him for a ride down the road today. But to get to the road is like so many piles of snow. You guys saw them running in the snow. And there's a... Can you step on it and then for a second you're supported and then it just falls. Gabby says there's ice on top of it. Yeah. Yeah, so it's not a good day. We're hoping for warmer weather or for the snow to disappear soon. All right, do you want me to lift you up? Okay. <laughs> Good. Riding in my shoes. Why are you riding in those? Because. Because you're lazy. You're a lazy teenager. Oh, um, jeans. But do you know what, Gabby? Oh yeah, and you have jeans on. You're gonna ride in jeans in your good saddle. Yeah, I've done it before, actually. All right. So I read this huge study about because a lot of people, especially like in the olden days, it was considered like something awesome if you could round I mount. Cannot. Yeah, well, it, they say mount, ground mounting is the worst thing you can do for your horse's Wait, back unless, for a bunch of reasons. What? Yeah, here, you can throw Gabby on. So um, ground mounting is not good for your horse's back. And they say that you need like three steps. The least you have to pull, it causes torsion in your horse's spine. That's as high as I can jump. Yeah, Gabby can't ground mount, and I'm glad she doesn't even try because it is so, so, so bad. He's Look at he's like chewing that bit. He's like, whoa, what is this thing? I haven't had a bit in he, for he so long. Me pulling. Yeah, so see you guys, he chews always. Like that is his thing. He's also when he turns his head to the right and does that, he's trying to chew the rein, but the rein is like on here so that it's at this angle all the time. So he can't actually reach it. Yeah. It's, it's kind of he's a crazy. chewer. Sophie's revenge. Mm -hmm. oh Sophie's revenge. It's not gonna end well. I love he this view of well. the barn. Three, two, and he walks right away. Whoa! What the heck? I hit my knee. I was holding Willow, so I couldn't, I couldn't run away when he walked into me because I was holding Willow. But I didn't want to like leave Willow defenseless. Yeah, I, or maybe I just hit on my phone. Well, now my knee. Hurts. Now your knee hurts. Anyway, oh my gosh, he's got dirt all over his back now. Actually, he hasn't lost a lot of muscle. I mean, he's lost muscle, but he still has some muscle. Get walking, and we're just gonna walk the him best around. The thing to do off Chino is fake fall off. Well, she's just gonna ride him. That's the best thing ever to do. A little in the arena, just like move, get him moving. So, does he usually look crazy? Like, does he usually like mouth a lot, even at a walk with the bit, or just when you are riding? I don't know. Because he's not moving his mouth at all. Yeah. But I think it's more when you're actually riding. So as soon as he gets cleared from her vet. Um, I like to move my hands a lot. Right? I know, and that's a bad habit. You have to stop that. Gabby's like a uh, pianist. She gets up there. What? <laughs> a pianist, like a piano yeah. player. <laughs> we all know what you were thinking there, Gabby. So we'll be bringing him back into work super slow. Yeah. All right, so show season for Gabby. A lot of people have been asking me like, what the heck are you gonna do for show season? And we don't know yet. We don't know like what Chino's uh, able to do. Like we don't know what Chino, we don't know yet. We haven't decided. Like she could ride Chino and do the Silver Series, or she could ride Chino and do Trillium, or she could choose to ride one of our Barnes horses, which would probably be Nash. I saw some comments about how Gabby holds Nash a little bit over the jumps, and the reason that she does that is because Nash was a totally different horse, you guys, a few months ago, but then he went to, to be trained for four months, and when he came back, what they said was that he needed to be supported a little bit over the jumps. 
Um, if Gabby doesn't support him a little tiny bit going over the jumps, then when he lands, he takes off. And they're trying to avoid that. He's doing so much better um, on walk trot. He He's better at it. But in, pr in a previous uh, life of Nash's, he had a lot of supporting. And so when she doesn't support him, he it all falls apart for him. All right, let's see. All right, let's see. Gino, give us a handshake. <laughs> now just his other leg. Anyway, so we're still figuring it out, but we're going to tell you guys as soon as we know what she wants to do for show season. We haven't. We honestly just don't know yet. That's actually pretty easy. That is back legs. No, not even going to try. <laughs> no. Imagine if she did that magically. Look at how cute he is, though. <laughs> Look at Penny. Penny's got her ears pinned. <laughs> She's like, get away from my boyfriend. He doesn't really know how to walk. Come on. Come on. Well, we are excited about tomorrow. I love that day. Like I told you, I can't wait to see how Chino's doing. Usually we do like x-rays and stuff. Before we have our equine vet, we have our doggy vet because Ellie's getting her last installment of her puppy shots. Don't you know that you're beautiful?